Hey everyone, Harriet here. Hope you're doing okay. Today we have a brand new WrestleCrate UK unboxing. I'm not wasting any time. I've literally got this today. Uh, I came home and it was on my bed. So my parents usually just leave it there because they're used to it now. And um, yes, I'm not leaving it till two, three weeks after I get it because I'm going to have a very busy week in the next week or so. I've probably got a new uh, NSP video tomorrow kind of I know Dan has been posting about it on Instagram so I'm definitely gonna be reacting to that tomorrow before I head off to see My Hero Academia so tomorrow's night is gonna be extremely busy and then the following week I have Manamicon uh, from Thursday night till Monday because I'm be traveling up there with my boyfriend and my friend and it's gonna be great I have to get everything ready cosplay wise I'm not prepared at all so I'm definitely unboxing this I'm not leaving it like I said I apologize in regards to last time I'm feeling a lot better now mentally which is good it's like I said it was a rough couple of months but we're coming up to March now and spring is soon sitting sitting hitting so that means bright nights and bright days and hopefully sunny we don't have any more weird weather here in the UK as always WrestleCrate UK is a monthly subscription box where you get various items from all the wrestling industries around the world from various wrestlers to companies uh, DVD shirts, um, month off subscriptions, etc. Autographs as well and there is a light box and a premium this is the premium I've uh, I've got it now. I think I'm coming up to three years now. I think with Wrestle Crate. Uh, I think it's either this month or no. I think it's April. I'm coming up to three years. So, wow, <laughs> that's incredible. I need to try and do someone to celebrate that probably. But we'll wait and see. Let's take one step at a time. So yes, I subscribe to the premium crate so I get all the items. Light, you only get a few of the items but not the exclusive items, I believe. But the details are below if you want to subscribe to them. I would highly recommend it if you are a wrestling fan. So without further ado, let's get unboxing. From what I remember, there was an exclusive Finn Balor uh, signed item in here, I believe. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember the rest. But uh, yes, let's have a look and see what is the first thing. And it is the shirt. So you always get a shirt a DVD signature, a sticker and uh, a month off subscription of a wrestling promotion. Um, so I've seen on Twitter already, not the shirt but I've heard great things about it so I'm gonna have a look and already I love that. <laughs> That's amazing. So that is the Lucky Kid shirt and I love that. I, oh wow, that, oh god that reminds me of, if, if anyone remembers Betty Boop I'm old, so <laughs> that's why I remember it. But it kind of reminds me of like the characters from it, but that is really cool. Love the Japanese writing. The colours work really well with this shirt, with the grey and the purple and the white. Incredible. I absolutely love that shirt. So what does it say at the bottom? It says, um, expect the unexpected lucky kid. So that's really cool. So that's probably one shirt I'll be bringing with me to Southampton. Uh, amongst my other god knows how many shirts I have now are <laughs> so great but that's uh, a great start to a box next we have a pin and this is the Monday Night Wars pin from WCW that's cool I I didn't grow I grew up uh, with WCW and WWE but I didn't watch it at the time I was more into WWE but I haven't got the network now at the moment, but when I did have WWE Network, I did um, watch a lot of WCW, and obviously I know now I'm up to date in regards to what happened, but that's really cool. There's um, So there's two to collect, you have the original or the Chase Edition. I've got the original, but I'm happy with that, I really am, because as you people know, I love to collect pin badges, and at some point I'm going to have to get a board to stick all of these on, because I'm running out of bags. <laughs> I'm running out of space so it might be best to get a pin board and stick it on the wall somewhere at some point. Next we have a poster so I love collecting posters as you can tell <laughs> and I'm going to be rearranging my wall some point soon once I have enough money to get frames um, but the, the art frames that we get with Wrestle Crates are fantastic I have to say I absolutely love the artwork and the artists that they bring in to draw the wrestlers it's just absolutely fantastic I think this is a photo uh, let's just have a look. Oh, that's uh, Pentagon Junior, I believe. I'm sure it is, I, but that's an absolutely beautiful shot. I love the smoke coming out of it. The blue hue as well is incredible, especially you can see it in his eyes. And I'm trying not to put glare on it from the, the light, but 
that's beautiful. So as you know, I am a photographer um, and I appreciate photos like this. It's just, it just really stands out. I'm sorry, I'm rubbing my arm on the box there, but a beautiful poster. I will probably give this to a friend as I know she is a huge Pentacon Junior fan and I think she's going to Minami Cup next weekend. So I'll bring this with me and give this to her. I'm really excited about this next item because I was actually at this show and it is Wrestle Queendom 2 from Pro Wrestling Eve, uh, the Riot Girls of Wrestling. And <laughs> oh my God. I'm really excited about this because we, me and David got to see it live and it was incredible from start to finish. We we stayed till uh, the very end as much as we could but we had to go because we had to get our last train back but there were loads of matches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were eight matches and I got to see Sue Young live. I was so happy because I absolutely love Sue Young and it was really cool where her the horde of her undead army kind of came out all these different female wrestlers in her gear just coming out and taking over the stage when she was facing a uh, session goth martina uh, it was incredible i i i was in awe i really was and i really really enjoy uh eve so much and it is thanks to wrestle crate that i got into it so i have a funny feeling i will be fighting this with david because he absolutely loves eve and we tried to go to as many shows as we can but again because it runs on too late we have to get the train back but that is incredible and i am so so happy with that next we have uh, a very special edition of calling spots magazine and it's in japanese because of thunder liger so he retired in january after wrestle kingdom and they had like a whole uh, section uh, dedicated to him for his retirement but that is incredible and that's a great way to uh, honor him and his career i i do enjoy um calling spots it's a great magazine it's just one i can just pop in my bag and bring with me if i um because magazines are a bit difficult to carry in my bag, but these are perfect and has loads of interviews in here. It talks about Thunder Liger as well. So fantastic as always, Colin Sports, and I can't wait to read it. Next, we have a photo of someone who returned to WWE recently at the Royal Rumble and caused a shock. And I'm very annoyed because I did not film the reaction to it because it was the one year I decided to take a break from reacting to Royal Rumble. I slightly regret that now, but I probably was not would not be in the right frame of mind to do so. Anyway, it is Edge, and I kid you not, I, I, <laughs> yeah, that was an incredible moment. I I watched it um, the next day before I went to work, and I was just literally, oh my god! I mean, yeah, obviously there was rumours of him turning up, but because he said he was playing, uh, he was on Instagram watching movies with his daughter. We weren't to know, but uh, ooh, he tricked us and I couldn't be more happier. The crowd uh, was just incredible with his reaction and deservedly so, it was amazing. So it has written on the back, Edge returns, Royal Rumble 2020, number 21, Minute Maid Park, Houston, Texas. What a night. And also has the date of the Royal Rumble, which was the 26th of January. And this is printed on a photo has Russell Crate on the back so I'm guessing they got their own photos printed which is great um, so yes I'm gonna add that to my autograph collection because I have sleeves specially for this so yeah great way to have him return next we have the monthly subscription and this is for professional wrestling um, AAW sorry AAW on demand uh, so there is the coupon there and this is uh, let me have a look no count no disqualifications just pro wrestling for the pro wrestling fans um, and it has various different shows on here that's uh, I recognize a lot of the wrestlers and also on the back it has the details there for the free trial and all the websites uh we appreciate chance to entertain you so their instagram twitter uh, facebook etc so i do enjoy these like i said it's thanks to this that i got into pro wrestling eve and i'm thankful for these because it kind of expands my knowledge more in regards to wrestling okay next we have the, we have two autographs this month so the first one is of eddie kingston that's again a a lovely photo that I truly truly like and um, yeah amazing photo not much more you could say to it but yes I don't have his autograph so that's fantastic and something I can't wait to add to my folder forgot to add the sticker because it was dope I forgot the sticker because it was deep down the bottom but we have the OJMO so this was the shirt that was last month so WrestleCrate they have the stickers the following month of the shirt the month before if that makes sense so <laughs> if not watch my January box 
is it January? Yes, because this is February, and then you'll understand. And the circle continues. <laughs> and last but by no means least, it is the Thin Bala autograph. Though I, I have to say, the photograph is uh, the autograph is a bit faded. Um, uh, you can just about see it because it's silver um, on there. But I'm I'm still happy. I have the autograph, and that I did predict. I think last month it would be the same artwork as the one for the Edge, the Christian, the AJ Styles, etc. So whoever this artist is, I, I should follow you. I think I do follow you on Twitter. I'm, I'm not sure. My brain is a sieve sometimes, but absolutely beautiful artwork. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to try and be careful with this uh, autograph and kind of put it so it doesn't fade away. So kind of like the Eddie Kingston one, you can see that, but this not so much, but you know, it's just one of those things. Maybe his pen was running out at the end of the day because he probably had to have signed a lot of signatures for this crate. And as always, we have the monthly list. So we have Finn Ballot on the front with just abs for days, seriously. So for February, we had the Finn Ballot hand signed artwork. Um, we also had the Lucky Kid exclusive t-shirt, the Monday Night Wars lapel pin, Eve Wrestle Queendom 2 on DVD, the Sierra Madeira poster, which is uh, Pentagon Junior, the Eddie Kingston hand signed portrait, Corner Sports Magazine number 34, uh, the Edge Return commemorative photo, and the month of AAW on demand. So um, it says here that five items will be in the Wrestle Crate light. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine items. So you get more than the half there of the items in the light crate, which is good. Um, and then we also have the subscribers from the month wearing the shirt from the month before which is cool and also next month we've got John Moxley in this box I'm looking forward to seeing what that is because I think it's the first time that John Moxley has uh, premiered in Wrestle Crate unless he was part of the shield but my my like I said brains like a sieve I can't remember off the top of my head but nonetheless I'm still excited to see what the John Moxley item is next month and that's it for my Wrestle Crate unboxing I hope you enjoyed it it's been a fantastic month as always the DVD Oh my god, I cannot wait to watch that. I do watch the DVDs and then I leave them and I lend them to my boyfriend for him to watch. But that one I will be watching as soon as I edit this video and be watching it straight away because I just want to go back and see that again. Love the badge, love the shirt. I just love everything about this box. It's amazing that you just get all these items for 20, I think it's 26 pounds, 27 pounds a month. But it is worth it if you are a wrestling fan. I would highly recommend it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Click on the bell below so you know when I upload videos leave a like subscribe all that jazz and i shall chat you all soon bye